Welcome to day two of the 30 day brush kickstart. Before we get into learning the grooves, it's important that I help you choose the right brushes and drum heads. There are a few things to consider when buying a pair of brushes, such as handle material and if they are retractable or non-retractable. But I think the most important aspect is the wire gauge. Now there are three main gauges of wire being light, medium and heavy. Light gauge wires produce the smoothest sweeps and quietest dynamics, but are a little hard to articulate, while heavy gauge wires produce the most responsive articulation, but require more control when sweeping. Medium gauge is in between. If you're unsure, I suggest you go for a medium gauge brush. Some models I recommend are the Promark TB4, Vic Firth Heritage Brush or the Regal Tip Classic Brush. Something worth noting though is that if you go for a non-retractable brush, just make sure it comes with a brush canister. If it doesn't, check out the link in the description below to watch how to make one for yourself. If you intend to play brushes using lateral motions, the drum head needs to have some resistance. That's why coated heads are far better than clear heads. In terms of coated drum heads, there are three that I would recommend. The brightest in sound and response is the Aquarian Texture Coated. The coating is super durable, but gives off a slightly plasticky sound. The Remo Coated Ambassador is the warmest in sound, but the coating doesn't last long at all. A slightly more expensive option, and my favourite, is the Evans UV1. It has the warmth of the Ambassador and the durability of the Aquarian. But my top drum head recommendation is the Cantor Drums Kangaroo Hide Drum Head. It is the warmest, the most durable, and the most responsive of the bunch. As it is made from an animal hide, it doesn't wear out. Though it is prone to natural stretching and shrinking due to changes in weather, but if you take care of it, it will last a lifetime. I bought my first kangaroo head about seven years ago, and it is still in the same condition as when I bought it. Now the last thing that's worth mentioning is whether you should play brushes with snares on or off. Some people say on, some people say off, I say either. The first thing to understand is that when the snare wires are engaged, the bottom head becomes slightly muted, which makes the drum sound a bit dry. Obviously this all depends on how you tune the drum. So when the snares are off, it produces a warmer open sound. This does make it a little less responsive to articulation. So it just means you have to work a little harder to get more clarity. In general, I like to produce a warm sound when playing with brushes but in some instances, having them on is more appropriate. When the snares are on, it produces much clearer articulation, so this would be more appropriate for big band playing or faster tempos. A tip when playing funk or rockers with brushes is to have the snares on pretty loose. This gives you a little more response from the wires. All right, you've got 24 hours to get a pair of brushes and a nice drum head before I teach you how to use them. In the meantime, watch this video on Kentville drum heads. Something worth noting though, is that if you go for a non-retractable brush, just make sure it comes with a brush canister. Canister, canister.